All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, joining me on the line from Belize, as he just rubbing that in as I'm staring out at a rainy, cold Iowa spring. Uh, ladies, <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, D. Snyder's on the line. Hey, D., how you doing this morning? I'm doing better than you. <laughs> We, I don't know if you've spent much time in Iowa, but the weather, it go like, especially spring, it's like winter, spring, summer, and then back to fall, then winter, and then back to fall, and it keeps doing this, and we don't get summer until about June. Oh, man. Yes, I have spent time in Iowa, and while the, you know, there is that issue, uh, as a result, the uh, fans there really rock. Because uh, and rock hard, and I uh, guys, what else are you going to do? Yeah, it's uh, party and rock. Okay, so uh, it does breed really great rockers. I will say that. Yeah, it is an interesting place for rock. But D, uh, real quick, let's dive into this. Uh, you're a part of Legacy, a tribute to Leslie West. It's coming out on uh, the 25th of this month. Tell us a little bit about it. What's going on here? You know, this is an amazing tribute to one of the greatest guitar players of all time. And I'm sure there are people listening going, Leslie West, greatest <laughs> guitar player, really? See, when you look, <laughs> my God, he's known, yeah, from Mississippi Queen, and that's pretty much it, you know? And you yeah. go, yeah, yeah, it was good, it's cool, it's cool. But the love that other guitar players have from him is just unparalleled. You know, I remember, and, and I was blessed. See, I was a fan of Leslie's. He's my favorite guitar player of all time. And we became friends. I mean, I, I can't say... I'm friends with any other rocker or rock star the way Leslie and I became friends really close to the end. And so, um, you know, when I see, I, I remember going with him to the NAM show, you know what the NAM show is? It's that uh, convention for musicians and uh, music industry people out in California. Yeah. I went with him one time. Walking into the NAM show with Leslie West was like seeing Moses part the Red <laughs> Sea. The place just froze and people just like bowed their head. I'm serious, dude. Like the, the people were speechless. Um, there was a moment where I was hanging with Leslie and the Nam Jam is this, you know, this night, this big jam, all the guitar players. Leslie was sound checking. Nobody's there. Just me, Leslie, his drummer, his bass player. I pull out a folding chair, put it on the stage next to Leslie. I'm just sitting there. And all of a sudden, Eddie Van Halen walks out with a guitar around his neck, plugs in, stands on the other side of my chair, and the two of them start dueling. Oh. And but but Eddie is not doing Eddie Van Halen. Eddie is playing Leslie West. He is doing what Leslie does, that melodic, bluesy, simple, you know, yeah. lines that Leslie plays. And I'm just sitting in the middle going, A, is this really happening? And B, what's my move here? I'm sitting <laughs> on a folding chair in a moment of greatness. Do I stand up and like rock? Do I like, you know, pump my fist? Do I just act like nothing's unusual? It was like the weird, I just still don't, I'm not sure it ever happened. But you look at the lineup on this record. The outpouring people came out. You got Zach Wild on there. Yeah. You got George Lynch from uh, Lynch Mob and Dockin on there. You got Robbie Krieger from The Doors, Randy Bachman, Slash, Eddie O'Jada from Twisted. People were just lining up to be on this tribute record to honor Leslie West. D, tell me about this part of it. How do you get it? Because this started out, it was going to be a uh, uh, like a tribute or something with him, a part of it, and then he sadly passed away, correct? Yeah, you know, it's so funny. We, we live in a world where people do tributes before you die. So, <laughs> which I guess is like, a, hey, can you eulogize me now so I can hear what you're going to say about me? But yeah, apparently he was going to, they were doing a tribute and he was going to be uh, on it and he passed. Uh, people know he had diabetes. He had some a lot of health issues toward the end. And and I didn't even know this was going on. Um, I just got a call from Eddie Ojeda, okay. my guitar player in Twisted, who was another friend of Leslie's, but a huge fan of Leslie West. And and Leslie West was a fan of Eddie's. Uh, Leslie once said to me, and he had that voice, if you remember, this day, I carry two guitar picks in my wallet, <laughs> Eddie Van Halen and Eddie Ojeda. And people are going, what, Eddie Ojeda? Leslie had incredible respect for, Les for Eddie's playing. So Leslie, Eddie calls me and says, me, Rudy Sarzo from Quiet Riot, Nazi's band, and Mark and Mike Portnoy from Dream Theater, one of the great drummers of all time, he says we're we're recording theme for an imaginary western. We need a singer. Would you sing? Oh, cool! And I was like, um, I would be honored. But we were just doing it to like put on YouTube or something. Mm -hmm. And I sent it to Jenny Leslie's wife and said, Hey, look what we did for Leslie. And she said, Hey, they're doing a tribute. <laughs> Do you want to be on it? 
I was like, well, yeah. So we, we, we put that, they put that on the tribute, which was just, again, another honor because we were just recording it out of pure love. So, but again, that was just, people were lining up. And I'll tell you right now, if Eddie Van Halen was alive, he would have been the first one on this tribute record, the first one. Dee Snyder, a part of Legacy, a tribute to Leslie West, coming out uh, a little bit later on this month, uh, the 25th, I believe. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. When when you do uh, events like this, I, I that kind of explains. I was wondering if it, they call you and they say, hey, we'd like you to be a part of this. You know, we have a couple songs. Do you send, you know, a couple versions of it back? I, I've always been interested in how that part of the process works. Well, you know, Adam, I don't honestly know in this case because, you know, we weren't asked. Somebody yeah, yeah, knew. yeah. So maybe we crashed the party. I don't know. But but then I got um, a call and I said, hey, listen, what would you think about singing another song, Never In My Life? Now, theme for Imaginary Western is sung by Felix Papillardi, the bass player, had a very clean, very beautiful voice. He's also no longer with us. With us. Three Quarters of Mountain is no longer with us. Steve Knight, the keyboard player, Felix Papillardi, bass player, singer, and producer and Leslie West is now gone. So we were honoring them as well. So I said, and, but Leslie sang never in my life. And Leslie was a huge influence on me. Leslie and I, um, we did a duet on one of his uh, al- solo albums. We did feeling good, you know, birds flying high. You yeah. Know how I feel. Oh, we did a real bluesy version and we went back and forth. And at the end, we're listening back to it. And he goes, D I can't tell which one's you and which one's me. And I said, <laughs> Leslie, you didn't know. I said, you, you, I, I, you're one of my biggest influences. Listen to me sing. We're not going to take Mississippi <laughs> Queen. I mean, come on. And, you know, and, and here's another quick story. You know, again, the, the respect. I was doing a uh, all-star show called Kings of Chaos with Billy Gibbons. And oh, I said, wow. Billy, I said, were you a fan of um, Leslie West? And he just, he said, hell yeah. He goes, but that voice. And people forget there's the voice. He was this fat Jewish kid from Long Island, and he sang like an old black man from the deep <laughs> south. He had the bluesiest <laughs> voice. And I don't know where it came from and the troubles he saw, but that was another thing about Leslie was not just his his guitar playing, but his singing as well. Going back to when you guys first met, who made the first move? Did you go up to him? Did he come up to you? How did that go down? So this is great. So Les so Eddie Ojeda, who I told you Leslie was a big fan of, yeah, um, yeah. met Leslie. And Leslie actually came up to me and he told me at a at a, a nightclub in New York City, he said, Hey, and Leslie, have you ever heard Leslie talk? That's how he talked. He said, Hey, I heard you playing on that song, The Price. It's really good. And it's great. He said, He said, Well, you should like it. I was copying you. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember me and Eddie talking, and I because I wrote the price. I said, I said, yeah, you know, really needs a Leslie West solo. He goes, I totally hear that man. So it was even the end of the song live was was modeled after Mountain Song that we did. So um, they became friends. So Twisted was playing Radio City Music Hall, and Eddie brings Leslie West down to the show. And now I'm just all of a sudden like, a, you know, an icon walked out. This is in the 80s. <laughs> he plugs in. And immediately blows up all of Eddie's amplifiers. <laughs> and this is this is like one hour before show time. <laughs> one of the biggest shows in our life. M- multiple shows at Radio City, you know. Oh, so no. we're scrambling. But, but Leslie was just, he was an animal with that guitar. He was so powerful. And he just, you know, he blew excrement up. So, um, you know, and that, so, uh, yeah. So that was the first time I met him. And then the relationship started to grow. And we really... I mean, I can't say that about any other musician. We became friends, just friends. I spoke to him just, you know, a week before he passed. And we would just talk Uh, again. We, we did, we hung out together. We did things together. We socialized together. Uh, We went to dinner with our wives. You know, we, we, it was a real friend. And to me to have a hero, someone I stood in a mirror trying to imitate thinking, uh, maybe can I look fatter? If I, how can I look fatter? I want to be like Leslie, uh, a scrawny kid. And then to actually call him friend, um, was just unbelievable, and I was heartbroken when he passed. Dee Snyder is a part of Legacy, a tribute to Leslie West coming out on the 25th. Um, we'll put all the links at the bottom of the page for this. It sounds like it's going to be an amazing album. Dee, uh, real quick, I, I know you got a busy day, but what else do you have coming up? You know what? I just want to say something more about Legacy. Oh, go and, ahead. And then I'll, then I'll tell you about what's going on. I just want to say we need to just quickly run down the guitar players on this thing. Okay. You know, I mean, George Lynch, Dockin, yep. Eddie O.J., the Twisted Sister, Slash, Guns N' Roses, Robbie Krieger from The Doors, Randy Bachman, guess who, Bachman Turner Overdrive, uh, Zach Wild, Ozzy's, I mean, this is a who's who of guitar players there. 
And like I said, Eddie Van Halen would have been the first one yeah. on that record if he was if he was if he was alive. So I mean, the singers are just you know like add-ons. Like, hey, you know, we need we need a singer because it's all about the guitarist. And the and and I'm I'm hoping people you know, as most people know one song from Leslie, and I, yeah, it's cool, you know, but they don't really know how he affected the community. And the guitar players you love probably loved Leslie West and were inspired by Leslie West. So see that lineup. Check out these songs, hear what the kind of music this guy wrote. As far as me, I've been, you know what? I've been on a mission the last couple of weeks. This thing in Ukraine is just, it's, it's tough for me to enjoy the beach um, when I see what's going on over there. And it's not to be taken lightly. And I've got a website, uh, an organization now called worldunited.live, worldunited.live. And we're tr just trying to gather people together uh, just to, you know, way we're trying to get the message to the Russian people. Russian people are misinformed. They don't know what's going on. Did you see that Arnold Schwarzenegger post that he did, that video? Have you seen it, Adam? It's, uh, it's no. amazing. It's amazing. It's got like 40 million views now. And it's a message to the Russian people. I I was hanging with Arnold. I'm Brad, yes, I'm dry, name dropping for a weekend in Ohio. And I told him <laughs> what we were doing. And I said, we're trying to get the word to the Russian people because they're misinformed they don't know what's going on so we're always we have all these celebrities if you go there you'll see a bunch of posts from all kinds of celebrities musicians actors comedians wrestlers you know uh, jericho's on there and mick foley's on there and arnold's on there you know just trying to speak to the russian people because we know that putin can't stop every stream he can't yeah. stop every url it seeps in and if people, if this change is going to happen, it's not going to happen dropping bombs, man. It's going to happen because the Russian people and whether it's the oligarchs or the regular people say, hey, enough of this and put a stop to it. So we're so worldunited.live. Uh, not looking for donations, join the party. We're looking to start a worldwide protest. We're looking to get the message out. And ultimately, we want to have a when it's all said and done, a huge concert a massive live aid type concert to raise money to uh, help rebuild the Ukraine because they're going to need our help. Well said, D. Snyder. Uh, we'll get all those links at the bottom of the page so people can help out. Thank you so much for your time, sir. We appreciate Adam, it. Adam, thank you. Hey, enjoy Belize. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. I'll send it to the Palapa and I'll ponder the end of the world. <laughs> Good place to do it. <laughs>